Is your church, charity, or other not-for-profit organization looking to simply create an online donations page for quickly capturing donations? Well, if this sounds like you, then this Stripe payment links tutorial is designed just for you. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now today in this brief Stripe tutorial, I'm going to share how anyone can simply create a free donation form within minutes using Stripe to start collecting donations. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Stripe, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and create a donation page for your organization to start collecting donations. <music> Okay, so to simply start collecting donations for your organization, we first need to create a donation page, and we can do this for free with Stripe. So to head over to Stripe, simply type in stripe.com, and that's gonna take you to this landing page. Now, Stripe is completely free to create an account. However, they do have a pay-as-you-go pricing model, meaning that you pay 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. So every time that you receive a donation through Stripe, Stripe will take 2.9% plus 30 cents from those donations. Okay, so simply navigate down to Start Now and create your free Stripe account if you currently do not have one, and we'll meet you inside your Stripe account. Okay, so once you've signed up to Stripe, you'll arrive inside your account. Now, if you're completely new to Stripe and you've never used Stripe before, then I recommend watching this tutorial, which I'll link up above and down below in the description, which will guide you through the process of understanding how Stripe works and how to initially set up your account. Okay, so once you've watched that tutorial and you're more familiar with Stripe, what we wanna do is navigate over to more. Click here and then locate payment links. And that's gonna take you here where you can customize and preview what your payment or donation page will look like. First, what we wanna do is navigate over to select type and click here and then navigate down and click on customers choose what to pay. This is best for tipping, donations, or pay what you want. Now, if you wanna learn more about how you can create a payment page for subscriptions or products, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of using this feature to create a payment page. However, for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're gonna create a donation page for your organization. To do that, come down and click on customers choose what to pay. Then simply navigate down and add a title for your donation page. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm creating an example organization called the Heart Foundation. Then what you want to do once you've added the title, which ideally is the name of your organization, or it could be the name of the cause or event that you're using to collect donations. Then navigate down to description and add a description about your donation page. I'm simply going to add every dollar you donate goes towards children born with heart issues. Then navigate over to image and ideally what you want to do is add a logo or image that's relevant to your donation page. Simply locate the image that you want to use. And currently this is what our donation form will look like. We have the name of this page, which is the name of the organization, the Heart Foundation. Then we have the amount here that people can donate. And then we have a description about our organization, issue, cause, or event. Then simply navigate down and add the currency. We're gonna keep New Zealand dollar. Then come down to suggest a present amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and add $10. Now, by adding a present amount, this is going to show a minimum amount that you want people to donate to your organization or cause. And as you can see, if I navigate up here, donors can simply change the amount if they like. You can also navigate down and you can set limits by clicking here. You can add a minimum amount and a maximum amount. This is completely up to you and your organization. Then if we come down and click on advanced options, 
We want to change the call to action button. At the moment, you can see we have pay as the call to action button. We want to change this to donate. And as you can see, we now have donate and then the amount that the donor adds. Okay, now if we navigate back down to advanced options, we also have the option to add specific information that we want to capture. For example, allow business customers to provide tax IDs. Then if we navigate down, we have the option to add collect customers addresses. Now, depending on the nature of your organization and how you collect donations and what you do with the donor's information, you can simply go ahead and collect the customer's addresses if you like. We're going to enable this for now and then navigate down and keep billing and addresses only. We do not need their billing and shipping address. Again, we can come down and we can add require customers to provide a phone number. I'm going to go ahead and select this. Again, these advanced options are purely based on your organization's requirements. Then what we want to do is navigate up to the top and click on confirmation page. And under confirmation page, we can go ahead and we can show a confirmation page just like this. We can also replace the default custom message by simply clicking here and adding the custom message that you want your donors to see after they've made a donation. So I'm going to quickly add a custom message, then come down and you also have the option to not show a confirmation page and redirect customers to your website. So maybe you have a thank you page on your website or a specific destination on your website where you want your donors to arrive once they've made a donation. Again, this is all completely up to you. So for me, I'm happy with the default confirmation page with a custom message. Then what you can do is preview your payment page and confirmation page across desktop and mobile. And when you're happy with your donation page, simply navigate up to create link. And as you can see, it's as simple as that to create a donation page. Now, if we navigate down here, we can simply copy this link and we can use this link in our marketing materials. We can add this link to our website or across our social media channels and more. We can also generate a QR code, which we can then embed on our website or other marketing materials so that our potential donors can simply open their phone camera, scan the QR code, and then make that donation. And if we navigate over to these three dots, we can come down and we can deactivate this donation page if we like. And then over here under tips for using your link, again, you can share it over text, email, or social media as many times as you like, or add it to your website, just like we mentioned. And then below this, we can get an email after every successful payment by managing your settings. That way you can get notified and manage your donations coming in. And then down here, you have the option to add additional payment methods that your donors can use to make donations. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what our donation page will look like from the perspective of a potential donor. To do that, I'm going to simply navigate up here and click copy and head over to my browser and paste in this link. And as you can see, this is the donation page that potential donors will see when they open up that link. They can navigate over to change amount and click here and add the amount that they want to donate to our organization. Then they have this information over here that they need to input before navigating down and clicking donate. And as you can see, it's as simple as that to quickly create a donation page to start collecting donations from your donors for your organization completely for free with Stripe. And that is how you can simply start collecting donations using Stripe's payment links feature. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care guys.